the word of God, Paul says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. When you lose a loved one, you're going to say, Lord, thank you that my loved one died. Thank you that I am in pain. No. Instead of saying, why am I in pain? Why am I sick? You can be thankful that I am sick, but I still have medical attention. I am in pain, but there is still life in my body. Start it during 12 a.m. in prayer, and you will see the significant change in your Welcome back everybody. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, if you are new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you go ahead right now and subscribe to the channel. If you have always been supporting, thank you for the continual support. Now, I decided to do this video. Somebody asked me, a subscriber asked me to do this video, to give some advice on two persons that are already married and i said to myself say i'm gonna give some advice to the persons that are planning to get married you know you're engaged you're in the process or you are you're not courting or whatever the case may be now let me tell you something first and foremost there is no such thing as the perfect marriage no care or you see the life look there is no such thing as the perfect marriage. Marriage is a working process. To, for the marriage to work, you have to put in the work. Just like anything else. Just like, oh, to make two ends meet or to make a life to have a house or car, you have to work for it. That's the same way with marriage. So some persons have this misconception that um, you're married to this man or you're married to this woman. And... You live happily ever after. No. You have to work on the marriage. You have to work to let the marriage work. And when you get married, there is no such thing as me, my something, or your something. It's no longer you or me. It's us. Because both of you knit together and become one flesh. The two are your twin together and you are no one. So I know my something and your something. So I know your, the wife something and the husband something. A, a, a word, a few way. It's us. And when you get married, don't leave out the main ingredient in the marriage. The main ingredient in that marriage is God. You have to pray for your husband. You have to pray for your wife. Even before you go as far as to put on the ring, wedding day. Because a lot of persons, they prepare for the wedding day. Yeah, the nice dress, the nice tuxedo, the, the, the limousine, the crowd, the excitement, the wedding gifts and so on. They prepare for the wedding day. They don't prepare for the marriage. So as soon as the problem comes, then they are out. They won't give up. No, it no work like that. You have to have the mindset. Say, whatever comes. And when I say whatever, I don't want nobody to get it twisted and believe that I am talking. Say, no care what comes. No. But I mean like the little everyday stuff, the struggles and the challenges in the marriage. You pray about it. This is my husband. She's my wife. And we are no one. So we are going to fix it. We have to work. And if you make it work. Because. Even though you are one. Remember you know. You are two separate beings. Two separate individuals. You have your like. The husband have him like. The wife have fear dislike. But guess what. At times, in the marriage, you are going to have to compromise. Sometimes you are going to disagree if you agree. Agree if you disagree. So, for instance, you don't like 
a party killer. Many you. But your husband like it. Not that you're not go, you going to say, I'm not cook it because I don't like it. You're going to compromise and say, all right, I don't like this menu, but I'm going to prepare it. In preparing it, I might take a little. Or if it is something where you don't eat, say, all right, I'm going to do. Prepare two pots. I'm going to cook two pots this particular e evening. You compromise and you work on the thing. So if you come across this video and you're planning to get married, you need to be completely sure, make up your mind, think about, not just rushing at the thing. Think about what you are doing long and hard because marriage is a, a lifetime something. It's a covenant. It's not a joke thing. So you think about long and hard. Am I getting married because everybody, all my friends are getting married? Or am I getting married because I am ready? And there is nobody that is ever ready 100% for marriage. There is no such thing. You can't ready 100% for marriage. Because if you say, all right, I'm going, I'm ready a hundred percent. You're going, you have to go fulfill all other requirements, the provision, everything. And there is no such thing, but you make up your mind. I have that mindset that I am getting married to this man or this woman. And I am going to make it work. And I am going to love her. I am going to love him. Situations will arise. Circumstances are going to come in at the marriage. But remember that God is the main ingredient in the marriage. Pray for your husbands and your wives. Pray for your husbands. Husbands, pray for your wives. Love them. Treat your wives like, like the queens that they are. And likewise, wives, treat your husbands like the king of your castle. I make the marriage work. Work on the thing. And let me tell you something. Fickle and thorn is a part of it. So when the tickle and the thorn come, nobody run. When the, 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 the situations arrive, nobody run and say you're finished and you're done with it. So this is my advice. To those that are planning to get married. And let me say a quick word to those that are married already. Continue to love your husbands. Wives, continue to love your husbands. Husbands, continue to love your wives. Remember, there is no such thing as the perfect man or the perfect woman. Because all of us are imperfect working our way to perfection so for those that are married already work on the thing make the thing last make the thing work compromise you know and work on the marriages because the enemy don't like marriage and the enemy is business and is purpose is to destroy the marriages So let us, that are married, continue to place Christ at the forefront of our marriage. And those that are planning to get married, put him already at the front of that marriage. And it will work. It will work. I'm telling you, it will work. If you, if, if you should go around and talk to the, the couples that have been married for years, they will tell you they have issues in their marriage, but you have to work on the thing, man. I have been married for 23 years and I work. You have to work to make it work. 
I hope this video has helped somebody. Blessings. Continue to support the channel. Continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until we meet again. Shalom.